Hi, it's Deanna, and today I'm going to show you my first Gabruda Bing antique, uh, I don't know what you call these things, wind-up toy, clockwork toy, and it's, I believe, from the uh, time frame of 1910 to 1918. It's a little dachshund, and I like to call them dash hounds. I don't know why, but I, I just do. I've always called them dash hounds since I was a little girl, and uh, Gabruda Bing was a German toy maker. And um, they didn't last for very long, um, probably a couple of decades. And um, they also made uh, beautiful wind-up clockwork boats and ships and all sorts of tin-type toys. And they also made teddy bears. And um, their teddy bears are actually quite expensive and uh, very rare. And this particular one is really, really cool, as you can see. He doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, I wound him up. Um, it sounds like it's hesitating, like it wants to run, but it just doesn't turn over. Just like an engine on a cold winter morning, or if your battery has died on your car and you turn the key, and it's like, it's it's almost there, but it just doesn't like turn over. So what's really cool about this, uh, this old felt dog with a little ball attached to his paw is this little button here. It's his original button made by the Bing Company. Um, showing you part of their um, patent logo and it says DRP, DIV, DRGM and then has something to do with uh, saying that this toy was patented and um, it has a little tin type ball with star graphics on it in red and his hind legs have little uh, metal wheels and as you can see he's made out of some kind of a brown felt and what I really love about him is his little shoe button eyes showing me that he's early and uh, his little stitch nose. He has a very, very, very long schnoz. I call it a schnoz. And that's his nose area. Uh, he has an original little collar with a bell. And the bell uh, does not ring. And uh, so he's really great. I just wish he would work. Unfortunately, he does not. And uh, maybe I'll get him fixed. I don't know if there's any toy uh, restorationist out there that's watching this right now. If you know anybody you can recommend or if maybe you're somebody who could fix this, please let me know. I don't know if it's worthwhile to fix this toy, if it might cost a lot of money, but uh, maybe you experts out there or collectors of this type of thing could uh, possibly help me out here with some info. Um, I have not seen him in action, so I don't know what he was supposed to do, but I did see a rabbit that was very similar to this on YouTube actually, and the rabbit looked almost identical except for he had um, an egg, like an Easter egg, where this ball is, and his paw was attached to it exactly like this, and when the guy wound him up, he spun around in circles on the floor, and I thought that was really neat, so I think that's what this one originally must have done. He must have spun around in circles, and uh, let me show you what he looks like from the back. So this is the back profile of him, and you can see he's very old. And uh, let me show you the other side uh, profile view. And you can see those little metal little wheels. And he's in great shape, despite the fact that he does not work. He has little stitched ears. And again, that schnoz. Look at that schnoz. And that's what Italians say. Italians from New York. We call our noses schnozzes. And because uh, we have, some of us have quite prominent noses. And uh, look at this guy. Look at that um, amazing, those amazing little shoe button eyes. And I thought uh, I'd like to share him with you guys, let you see um, a toy that's over 100 years old, what it looked like, and what kids used to play with before iPhones. It's quite amazing that children used to play with toys, right? And uh, so I'm going to conclude this video by saying thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And again, in the comments below, if you can tell me more about this particular toy, I'd love to know. Maybe if somebody knows exactly when he was made, but I do believe from 1910 to 1918. And if I'm incorrect, please co uh, comment below and correct me. Thanks for watching.